before we get into today like the goddamn video so i'm gonna come out and say it if no one else will the atlanta hawks suck the Atlanta Hawks have been not a decent team or mediocre or average. They've been garbage this season. And I hate to say it because I was rooting for them last season to win the East. I mean, if we go back to last season, this team was arguably the most surprising one in the Eastern Conference. Going into last season playoffs was the fifth seed, but overcame the Knicks in the first round, shocked the first seed of 76ers in the second round, and took what we know as today, the defending champs, to six games in the Eastern Conference. Last year, the Atlanta Hawks team showed even as young and inexperienced as they are, they can't compete in the East. And coming into the season, we expected the Hawks team to bring that same energy into this season and possibly go a bit farther than what they did. Well, I'll say this. So far this season, the only energy they're bringing is getting their fans to leave games early because this team has not been fun to watch. And what's crazy is, virtually the same roster is still intact and it's almost the same team from last season. The core is pretty much the same. So the real question that a lot of us want to know, and I'm sure Hawks fans do too, why are the Atlanta Hawks so bad this season? Before we get into any of that, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and you might as well hit the bell too to never miss a video. But ain't enough talking bro, let's get it. Now let's get the obvious out the way. The Atlanta Hawks probably couldn't guard me if I was bringing the ball up in a wheelchair. The Hawks statistically have one of the worst defenses in the NBA. As of right now, they rank 28th in defensive rating. 28th. There are only two teams below that, and that are the Pelicans, which is the worst team in the NBA, and the Memphis Grizzlies, which is a conversation for another day. Not only this, they rank 30th in the league. Dead last in steals a game. As far as blocks a game, they rank 29th. And we could go down the numbers all day, but the simple matter of fact is, this team needs to put more heart in their defense. Clint Capella last season was a huge factor for this team, especially when defending the paint. Last season, the Hawks ranked 12th in opponent's field goal percentage a game. This season, that has went to 23rd in the league. The Hawks as a whole have been letting teams like the Wizards, Nets, Nuggets have a field day in the paint. If you lose the paint game, you most likely will lose the game. And if you can't protect the paint, you better make sure to be protecting the three and keep opponents cold from there. But surprise, surprise, the Hawks haven't even done that. Last season, even though they have guys on the perimeter like Trey Young, Bogdanovich, Huter, Cam Reddish, John Collins sometimes, you know, decent to solid defenders. I didn't name any world-class defenders out there, but this team last season ranked third in the league and opponent's three-point percentage. That has drastically shifted all the way to 18th. They have been bad at rotating. When someone comes for a double team or to help, they have been so slow to get back to their man. Overall, they just look incomplete and inexperienced all over again. I figured another year with basically the same team Team, they would have at least improved a bit but with this defense like this if they don't make any changes or adjustments and remember the coach takes some blame for this too then this team doesn't have a chance of even making a play in tournament now before i show them some more in the hawks defense they have had one of the toughest schedules thus far i will admit that so maybe these early struggles have came from the strength of their schedule looking at the list of teams they have played that's tough, I ain't gonna lie. In just 14 games, they've played the Wizards twice, the Mavericks, 76ers, Cavs, Nets, Suns, Jazz twice, Warriors, Bucks, Nuggets. Overall, taking their team's records up to date into account, the teams that they have played combined record is 99 and 76. It doesn't matter which way you slice it or look at it, the Hawks have had the toughest schedule in the league by a decent margin, obviously. So we have to take this into account when judging this team so early on in the season that their schedule will get easier at some point. Now, we gotta hold some players accountable too this season. Guys like Gallinari, Lou Williams, who's been in and out of games, DeAndre Hunter, who is now gonna be out for a couple months due to surgery, and Clint Capella, these guys have not given the same production they did last season. The offense is still good. Trey Young, even with the rule changes affecting his free throws a game, he still has found a way to be the same Trey Young we remember last season. And John Collins has taken the next step we expected as well. But the rest of this roster doesn't look the same. And maybe the losses of guys like Tony Snell, Brandon Goodwin, Chris Dunn had more of an effect than we thought. Or maybe it's the implement of other guys in the rotation, such as Dylan Wright or Gorgie Dang. Throwing some guys off, whatever the case is, they just don't look right. We know they have the potential to do so, do much more, and if it wasn't for their postseason run last year, we wouldn't be putting such expectations on them. Maybe the run last season was a fluke, and this team really isn't as nice as we thought. Or maybe it's just a rough start to the season, and they're going to come together later on down the road. Whatever the case is, the Hawks gotta figure something out because with the young talent they have combined with what they did last season, they are on track to be the biggest disappointment in the NBA or at least in the Eastern Conference. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the Hawks' early struggles. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and I'll see you guys later.